everybody. I'm going to read this story. It's called Hedge Hugs. That's the title of the book. And the title is a name. Okay. So hedgehogs, our main characters are actually this animal here called a hedgehog. And a hedgehog has on their backs these spines. And they're not really prickly, but they're very stiff, okay? And that is very important to know about our main characters in the story. So here is hedgehogs. I wonder what's going to happen in this story. What are your predictions? What do you think they're going to do? Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to search for four-leaf clovers in the meadow. They like to make daisy chains in the shade of the old oak tree. They like to splash in puddles on the lawn. And sometimes they like to have a tea party by the river. What do you like to do with your best friend? When Horace is busy, Hattie puts on her tutu and dances in the bluebells. When Hattie is busy, Horace searches for spiders in the woods. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. But there is one thing they cannot do together. They cannot hug. They are just too spiky. They have tried lots of ways to hug. In the winter, they rolled in the snow until it covered their quills. But the hug was too cold. In the spring, they found some old hollow logs. Horace and Hattie squeezed inside, but the hug was too bumpy. In the summer, they stuck strawberries on their spikes, but the hug was too sticky. In the autumn, they covered their quills in crunchy, crispy leaves, but the hug was too scratchy. Poor Horace and Hattie. What do you think they're going to do to solve their problem? They really want to have a hug with each other. What could they do, I wonder? Then one day they found something very interesting. Hmm, what does it look like they found? It was soft. Was it a hat? Horace decided to investigate. Hmm, investigate. What do you think it means to investigate something? Let's take a look. He wriggled and jiggled and nibbled. Then out he popped. So investigate. He explored the piece of clothing. Hattie thought Horace looked very funny. Then she had an idea. What do you think she's going to do? Hattie looked at Horace. Horace looked at Hattie. Oh my goodness, what do you think's going to happen next? <gasps> they moved closer and closer and closer until they hugged. The hug was just right. Not cold, not scratchy, not sticky, and not bumpy. It was warm and soft and cuddly and comfy. A perfect hedge hug. So the next time you see someone wearing mismatched socks, or if one of your socks goes missing, you know what it means. A hedge hug happened. The end. So what did you think of our story? Do you miss giving your friends a hug? I know I miss getting hugs. I hope you have a great night. Bye, everybody.